My experience is that the benefits for the client are the greatest when at least two things are crystal clear. One is the motivation and two has to do with the motivation, a very clear objective at the outset. And the two tend to go hand in hand. I might have an objective, but I'm not, it's not important enough, not enough motivation. Or I might have like, oh, something has to change. I'm hyper motivated for change, but I have no clue what exactly I want. And then the coach can help you work it out. I've done sessions with clients, say one hour and 80% of that time was only spent on the question, what do you want to achieve in the session today? And you say, well, if you've spent 50 minutes, say, on defining the objective, and then you have 10 minutes, say, well, the thing is, the moment you have that question, often the work is almost done because you had to narrow it down. You have to think so clearly. And that brings us back, what is coaching about? It's about creating the client's best thinking. And that is also an answer to your earlier question. So coaching, who is it for? If that's the definition, then it is for approximately 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet because who wouldn't benefit from his or her best thinking. But then of course there are the questions who can afford it and how good is the coaching and for what purpose and do you want to spend your lifetime on something else, on living, on enjoying, rather than just optimizing yourself?